joining us. Um, I'm so sorry. It's been almost two and a half to three weeks. Two and a half weeks. I'll give you two and a half weeks. And you know, it's so hard because I see all of our load on live stories. And when I see them, I'm like, oh my God, I want to talk to you so much about them. And there's such a time span. So, so much has gone on since we've last seen you guys. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Miss Celebrity in Miami. And I'm Vibe. Hi, I missed you. It's been so long. <laughs> <laughs> I would give you guys a hug too. Okay, you guys, so listen up. I'm a little closer. Scott Disick, spending outreach. Courtney Kardashian is having a fit. We'll get into it in the Lowdown Live section. Reese Witherspoon's husband scolds her in the back of the car seat. Uh, I was going to say car seat in the cop seat. The car seat? In the cop in the back of the when they got arrested. We're going to get into it. And yes, 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 yes. One of Paltrow, I'm sure everybody, I, I, I mean, not only has heard about it, but has had something to say. I know I've had something to say about it. Gwyneth Paltrow. Named the woman, the most beautiful yes, woman in the world. By People Magazine. And she's even hated, according to Google.com, more hated than... Um, yeah, she's the most hated celebrity, yes. isn't she? Yes, 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 yes. I was trying to think I of... I love her in Iron Man. I do, I like... The, I haven't seen Iron Man 3. No, but I mean, just in, the, in, in Iron general? Man in general, I love yes. the character she plays. She's Well, we're going to get into it in the lowdown. So, wait, wait, wait. Let's just I love her in Shallow Hell. So. This is episode five <laughs> of the Lowdown Live. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what you guys have been doing. Spring is here. I busted out the colors, the sandals. I wore uh, my little booties the other day because it was raining and I didn't want my feet to get wet. My feet got hot inside the <laughs> shoe. And I'm like, yeah. Describe a booty to me. First and last time. Ladies, please let's, let's explain to him. It's where it's a short version of the boot, closed toe, I have some in material um, and, and some in leather, and I tend to wear the leather ones when it's raining so I can still rock the lower boot because you can't wear a boot in the middle of spring. No, you can't. And you really can't necessarily pull the booty off, but you can get away with it, and especially on a rainy day, then I bust them out. This is why I love being a man. It's dress shoes, sneakers. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. So I bust, like I said, busted out the booty probably first and last time until uh, winter comes back. Mm -hmm. And um, so it is, it's warm. I don't know where you guys are in the country or, or possibly the world when you're watching us on YouTube, but it's hot in South Florida. I can definitely feel we're, we're gearing up for that hot summer. I'm glistening right now. So yes, <laughs> yes, yes. I call it glowing. Um, and background music, definitely you can uh, tell that we are in the heart of Miami. Well, I think you can hear it. I can't guarantee you guys can hear it, but just, mm, it's one of those busters. <laughs> you are too funny. All right, you guys, let's talk about it and more. I'm ready for the Lowdown Live. All right, you guys, so big news going on. I was telling you that Reese Witherspoon's husband yelled at her, um, and it was actually caught on camera, and I haven't seen if they've dropped the video yet, but uh, we all know that humiliation of the week, Reese Witherspoon was arrested. Um, you know, we've all been there. Tipsy, drunk, the whole nine, and... Drunk and disorderly? Drunk and disorderly, and you kind of say certain things that you don't necessarily mean when you got a little extra alcohol in you. Well, they, they say they say that you're more truthful when you're when you got a little bit of the, the juice in you. Well, according to the truth serum, then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Reese Witherspoon. Um, you know, the husband got pulled over. They were driving their Ford. I believe it's a Focus. You know, very going oh. about their business. Oh, right. that's very. Yes, uh, yes. I thought the same thing. And um, got a oh, excuse me, got pulled over because he was doing a little swerve, a swerve, mm -hmm. and. Um, once again, I, I, it's hard because I don't see Reese and, and all the times that we've seen her being in this sort of characterization of a celebrity star. Okay. Um, but according to our sources over at Hollywood.com, they're saying that Reese uh, relentlessly talked back to the officer shouting, you're about to find out who I am. And I'm an American citizen. I'm allowed to stand on American soil before being handcuffed by the officer. <laughs> um, and her husband, who seems to be mortified by the tirade, mm -hmm. later argued with his wife inside the cruiser, not even at home. So they got in the cruiser. So the video it. How was it? No, well, you have that, that dash cam, and it picks up oh, audio. Oh. And um, and and he just said, "You wouldn't listen to what he said, and now you've turned us into national news." Okay, Wait. so okay, so scolding wasn't like bad scolding. It was just kind of. Well, I think you kind of, you know your partner, and once again, and everything is perception, I don't perceive Reese Witherspoon to be this, you know, you know who I am, I'm, you know, Reese Witherspoon, let me get out of this ticket sort of individual. Um, but I'm sure he was embarrassed, he's arrested in the backseat, she's now arrested in the backseat. Right, right. Um, do you, let me ask you this question, 
I don't know where you were going to go uh -oh. with it. Uh oh. But do you think, you know, she's saying, and, and I, it, everything is in perception. That's how you believe what you perceive. You know, we hear, I'm an American citizen. You're about to find out who I am. You know, do you think he arrested her because he realized she was Reese Witherspoon and to kind of do it in? Uh, if, if anything, he arrested her because she was talking back. She was being, what's that word, resisting, sort okay, of? Yeah, well, that I, I think I, was I what was filed, that. resisting arrest. Ex there you go. Um, I don't know if he, I don't think so. I don't think it was because of celebrity. I think, you know, you're a cop, you're doing your job, and you're getting disrespected on top of it. It's really a hard job. You know what? You're going downtown. So, she might, they might have just got a slap on the wrist if she didn't, you know, come on, let's think about it. When I started telling her, oh, I pulled over Reese Witherspoon, but no, she... Well, I don't know about you, but when those two probably got home, mm, you know, like, when you get in a really big argument or a really big fight, and this was probably, like, her uh, adrenaline of the year, because you never hear coming. Reese Witherspoon talking about, you know, this sort of bad girl behavior. Yeah. So maybe they had, they played a little cops and, and, and not so nice uh, when they got home. They say that drunken makeup sex is the best sex. <laughs> I'm just you know, throw that out there. And maybe after being arrested. All right, you guys. So, People <laughs> Magazine, and, and I love Reese, so please, please, please just set an example. And that's the other thing, too. We didn't hear, and, and I want to get onto the Gwyneth Paltrow story. We didn't hear the intoxication level. Um, you know, you can be tipsy and not drunk. She seems like a lightweight. You know, and I, him, too. I can see her as a lightweight. Unless, you know, he sips back on the whiskey on their porch in Tennessee. And the cognac, yeah, cognac. Yeah, but, <laughs> I mean, I think overall, and once again, we haven't heard the intoxication rate. I think all of this plays in. I just think that, you know, you possibly get, as a lightweight, a little wordy. Yeah. I know mm -hmm. I'm a little wordy. Okay, so <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow not only named People's Magazine's most beautiful woman in the world, um... Now, I'm slightly torn on this. I think Gwyneth is absolutely beautiful, um, but do I think she's the most beautiful woman of the world? Do I think she represents what what the whole world aspect represents? And I'm not really sure, because I'm not even really sure if I know what that definition means. I, well, I'd say yes. Now, Beyonce was last year. Well, that, that's odd, then, because I, the world's definition is, fortunately, white, blonde hair, blue-eyed, and it's going to be thin. That's, so, what, that's what I believe the world she definition would is. So, that requirement. Exactly. I, you know, Beyonce is gorgeous, and I'm, I didn't know that, but kudos to her. But yes. I think Gwyneth Paltrow, she's beautiful. I do think Does she's beautiful. Does fit exactly what the typical model would, would, would. The conformity criteria. Exactly, the conformity. Um, and the other thing is, and, and I mean, I appreciate her for an actress. Don't get me wrong. Not that I don't, I, I don't care what she does in her personal life. Mm -hmm. You know, I like when she's an Iron Man. I like when you see her shallow hell. These are the movies that I want to see Gwyneth, not, and, not necessarily these movies, but this yeah. is what I enjoy seeing Gwyneth portray, exactly. a very qualified A-list actress. I'm not worried that she's not eating gluten and that she's forcing her kids to not eat gluten. <laughs> I don't really care what's going on. I heard about that. Um, she, but, said, she said that's not true, though. Well, I read an article. <laughs> no, wait, I read an article. She says that she doesn't not, they don't, they don't, her kids don't not, don't negative. Do not eat gluten. gluten or, or, you know, don't, or not, they can get the well, soda. Well, no, and, and yeah, I, I think the funniest thing is she says that on Saturday nights, she reserves, she can have one American Spirit cigarette. Um, I think of you, and, and, and people, because they don't know you, they're taking your believability or whatever you want to call it off mm -hmm. of what you portray yourself as. Very true. And if you're portraying yourself as this super health, you know, wellness guru, mm -hmm. they're not going, or they're going to hold you to a higher standard because at this point you've elevated yourself to a certain standard. Okay. And talking about that you only smoke on a Saturday night, mm -hmm. Unfiltered cigarettes, by the way. Um, harsh cigarettes. I don't smoke, but I'm telling you, ugh, disgusting. Um, I mean, if it's one time, you must do it hardcore. You no, know, if you're gonna indulge, indulge hard. At one time. See, that's <laughs> between men and women. But uh, she was just actually on, and she's really hoping that her parents have not seen the show. Or, excuse me, her mother. And um, according to OK Magazine, she's known. According to Chelsea lately, they're really good friends. I did not know her and Chelsea were good friends. Mm -hmm. um, she's known for dispensing highbrow advice on organic diets and expensive clothing. But according to Gwyneth Powell's close pal Handler. Uh, excuse me, Chelsea Handler, the mom of two, has a secret raunchy steak. Um, she was just recently on the show, and she said, whatever you're doing, do the opposite of it. If you're feeling angry, give him a blowjob. I just fell in love with Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> uh, the comedian recounted, to which the Iron Man star, who's now 40, blushed and exclaimed, oh my god, I hope my mother's not watching. 
So let's go to 40. So once again, you know, you're getting a little bit of a sauce to your side. I think she's beautiful. Do I think she should be on the magazine? Not up to my call. Uh, I mean, not, it depends. I'm I mean, are, we, are we being like, you know, beautiful period or does she, like I said, conform to that wait, idea? Wait, wait, wait. Would be Anne weird. Hathaway, and, and I do not remember the exact statistics. Mm -hmm. Okay, Osama bin Laden hated, looked up on Google, was like number 40th, and Anne Hathaway on Google was number one. And according to since being voted America, uh, People's Magazine's Most right. Beautiful, when a culture is in their own most hated Google, look up whatever you want to call it. You know? I mean, the word is she's a nasty person. That's what they say. I mean, that's what I hear, what I've read. Well, I think it's her. I just don't see it. She's, I, I she's don't grown see up it. in money. She's grown up with the silver spoon. Okay. Um, I think if you don't have a dose of reality check, I think living in fantasy land is sometimes a little bit easier than living in real world reality. So you think she has that sense of entitlement? Personality? Not necessarily entitlement. I think she's pro she's I'm sure a strong, hard worker. Mm -hmm. She's probably got her foot in to where it's at because of you know her dad was an actor and so forth. Mm -hmm. um, but do I feel that she probably has nannies that takes care of the kids? And yes. Does she have the availability to say, hey, I want that gluten stuff? Yes. She tells her chef, don't make it with gluten. But for the average person, they just can't go into the kitchen and and you know spend the extra money on gluten for well, you know. The average person is like ninety percent of us. That's correct. Yeah, she, is a, she is that, you know, that percentage is up there that can live that life. And uh, can you fault her for being in that 1%? No. I mean, you can't because she was born into it. Okay. But in the same token. But she's working, working hard while in it. Correct. That's absolutely true. So she's true. not just sitting down and, you know. I know. And once again, I think it's all perception. But I do like Gwyneth. I've liked her for a very long time. And um, I do think she's very beautiful. I mean, when I think of the world's most beautiful woman, though I think of somebody cultural, somebody who is exotic. And I mean, that's my own perception. So therefore that's why I'm leading right. down that road. So once again, based on your- Right, like, like Mila Kunis. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, um, Scott Disick is on an out of control spending spree. He puts a strain on the relationship. You know, I've looked it up and according to our sources, Scott is only worth $2 million. Now I'm not saying $2 million is chump change. $2 million is not chump change. But when you were in the Kardashian clan, that's chump change. Mm -hmm. And he's gotten his money off of the Kardashian show. Okay. He's become known because of Courtney. He has grown up. I, you know, I, I definitely, I keep up with keeping up with the Kardashians, who, by the way, did sign a six year contract. Um, but according to sources, which this is allegedly, so don't, you know, get upset, but allegedly they may not be re signing their contract for keeping up with the Kardashians next season because ratings are supposed to. I know. Hmm. I know. Would you guys miss it if the Kardashians went off air? It's kind of like that naughty and nice. You don't really know if you want to look, but you don't want to turn away either. I mean, I, I, I flip the channel and it's like, oh, I want to pass you. Ooh, what is going on in that show? <laughs> I mean, that's just me. Maybe it's the uh, the pregnancy thing. Maybe it's just kind of a downer because now they know she won't just party or cook up anymore. She's getting more serious. I don't know. I think people may want to watch that aspect of it. But so on to Scott. So Scott, according to our sources, and once again, this is all allegedly. Um, so I told you, he's worth about $2 million. He has recently uh, just started buying up things. He, he bought this very pricey man handbag, $20,000. Is it man handbag? Man handbag, yes. Like a man purse? Yes, Scott's this uh, jumbo Birkin bag around LA. It looks, it looks like it a It could retail for more than $20,000. That's a purse. That's that is a purse. That's a purse. That looks like it belongs <laughs> that is to, a purse. Chloe, uh, to excuse me, not Chloe, to Courtney. It does. That's as a, a baby purse. bag. That's not, that's not a bag. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's been around town. He um, coughed up a Cuban link chain when he was in Miami. They said roughly about two hundred thousand oh. dollars. He has his Rolls Royce that is at five hundred thousand dollars. And wow. recently, it's been reported that he just spent about two million dollars. So on oh, what? Well, whatever. Yeah. Well, five hundred thousand for a car, twenty thousand dollars for a bag. True. You know, I'm sure he needs matching uh, uh, moccasins to follow them up. Right. I mean, so right nails. But manager. now he does come from a family that had had money. Um, they went through it, and and he comes from a humble background. They also said that he opened up the restaurant uh, up in New York. It closed six months later. So if keeping up with the Kardashians goes south, um, and I don't mean to Miami, but south. Um, he really decides. <laughs> just got that. I'm sorry. <laughs> but he really decides any sort of appearances or anything like that has no money coming in. Right. Um, so, you know, that's what happens. These ball players and, and these 
these um, artists and these actresses, they get a little bit of money in their pocket and they go out and they spend, spend, spend. They drop them dollar bills. Oh, you know, some of them do, you know, do some of them. You know, you can do, I'll get your entrepreneur on and I and, respect that. And you go and you make $20 million and buy an $8 million mansion. Does it make sense? But that's what a lot of times you get into and living high in society like this, it's very hard when you come crashing down. Very true. So, very true. All right, you guys, we're tying up before we get into our topic of the day. And I just want to say, okay, and I know we always have to bring it up because I'm in love with these shows. Um, are you ready? American Idol. Ah. American Idol. Oh my God. All right, and I'm bringing up American Idol because I've heard some juicy details by the producers, and it's allegedly, but the producers are completely backtracking. Mm -hmm. They wanted to replace Mariah Carey. No, wait, I heard, I heard they're cleaning house completely. They're getting all new judges from my sources. I heard that the producers, you know, they want to clean house no, no, no. completely. I'm, I'm not seeing when the season's over. I'm saying mid-season. Oh, you mean mid-season? Why? Yes. Well, you know, the thing is, and, and this is what I really stand firm on, I feel you are getting a little bit of everybody. You're getting, now, Nicki Minaj has had the worst ratings, and I know we've discussed it, and you want her off the panel, <laughs> but I feel, I personally feel I that she gives a little bit of the younger generation up front, not holding her tongue back, sort of revisions and a lot of the times she, she has she has not earned her place on the american idol panel i understand been, that but i don't feel there. that she's doing a bad job uh, sometimes yes sometimes no i really feel there's a lot of times that i'm thinking something in my head and she says it and i'm like yes go nick and i'm thinking it okay okay so she serves her purpose so i think i think she offers this we've gone over before keith urban never really knew him besides as nicole kidman's husband <laughs> love him he really offers i feel genuine opinions he says it how it is he almost seems like a music executive he's been in the business chart, to uh, chart topper excuse me and you know and randy's been there for a very long time so therefore that gives the seniority aspect right, and mariah to... does a lot of darling and and now she's doing the glitter dust and she walks up on stage and she instead of, <laughs> she throws glitter at the contestant and um i guess i watched the American Idol. And, and and you know what the problem i think you give the judges all this money up front. Does Mariah need American Idol? No. Mariah, unlike a lot of celebrities, has made her money off of her golden vocals. And she does, She now, of course, has perfume and stuff. But her, what, what she's reported, $550 million is what her net worth is reported. Okay. Nick has, Cannon, you are the man. Has majoritively come off of her golden pipes. And not perfume and clothing and appearances. And, and, and she really has been reserved as this legend which nobody can get up there and sing like Mariah. So, I, I do I think that it was a step down for Mariah to go with American Idol? A little bit. I think as a guest judge or as a mentor, it would have been different. Yeah. I think that in, in the persona of what it is that they hold American Idol up to a very high standard, so they probably they thought that, I mean, it was an honor. Have I enjoyed seeing her? Yes, because you know, I don't personally feel like we get to see enough of Mariah Carey. But, I don't. I think it would be disrespectful to replace her mid-season. I don't. You know, I wait, wait, wait. Did you know who they wanted to replace her with? Uh oh. J Lo. Mm. Oh, little Kim would have been perfect. But I think in the rap world, when we talk about a rap aspect and being on one of these sort of like shows, but it's not Nicki Minaj kind of rapping. Yes, she but, but but guess what? People She's don't like her. But guess what? <laughs> guess who I think would have been perfect? Who do you think would have been perfect? One woman. She's in her forties and she can lay it down. And it's uh, not Mary J. Blige. Alicia Keys. No, she's not in her 40s. I don't know. I was just throwing that out there. Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah. Yes. Would be perfect. Yes. I know. I thought yes. the same thing. She would be is, phenomenal. That... She'd add a little Good sass pick. and a little bit of Good class. Okay, she'd put Nicki Minaj in her place. She would. Well, I don't think Nicki would be disrespecting her. I'm telling you right now. No, yes. Because guess what? Mariah Carey hires the bodyguards. Queen Latifah would beat her ass. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that is perfect. That, that. So I, yes. but still, I think it would be very distasteful to take Nicki, uh, excuse me, Mariah Carey out this far in the mm -hmm. season. Um, if it was to happen like that, I would feel that Mariah should just bow out. What, what if that's not what she's doing? What if she is bowing out and they're kind of spinning it a little bit? Because I don't think what they if, would say that they would be firing her. I as think a she way, would, as 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 um, I would say, like a ploy, basically, to, to so they don't look so bad. Because that kind of that would hurt if she said, "Okay, well, you know, guys, I'm darling, I'm done. I don't, I, you know." I don't really I think, see that in her. I think. Well, what if this was like a 
her own special, really elaborate publicity stunt to get back out in the game, to be seen, get her face back out there again. Does she have a new oh, song yes, out? Yes, and I love it. Uh, I did not like her uh, last single, but the song is nice. Exactly. I did like the song. And I said, wait a minute, she's making music again. Yes. She's on American Idol. Hmm. Well, anyway, Maybe. producers, like I said, backtracked, and uh, they act, they actually said, oh, no, 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 we're in talks with J-Lo to, uh, to do our season closer. She's going to be singing on the show. She's not replacing anybody. And, uh, what is what is more I have to say? No tweets, no, no responses? No, just I, I think I quiet. just very quiet. And once again, this was alleged, and it was just rumored. So I guess we'll have to wait and see, but I think it would be very distasteful. But yes, cleaning house. So I am voting for Queen Latifah. And do you vote for Queen Latifah? Heck yeah. I think it was a, that was a fantastic draft pick. Do you think Randy's going to stay? Well, they said they want to get rid of Randy, too. That's okay. what I heard. They heard so they're cleaning they're, house. They heard they're, they're cleaning house. They, they might be cleaning house for the next season. Um, for whatever reason, but that means Randy too. It means cleaning, completely whitewashing and starting okay, so fresh. I also know you don't follow the voice. I mean, you follow what I enlighten I, you I follow on. Stephanie's voice. <laughs> Stephanie's the voice. Okay, but we were talking about, you know, the panel, which is Blake. Um, you have Usher Shakira and Adam Levine. I love Adam. Um, love Shakira. But, you know, Shakira, I think is lovely. She kind of remind, reminds me of like a Paula Abdul. She gives a little bit of criticism, but lovely. We need that crazy though. We need Christina back. But I definitely- no, Christina no, no. was crazy? Well, she's a little more outlandish. You know, we want these judges that we're paying this big money to because we have the <laughs> consumer. We want a little bit of crazy. We don't want them to sit there and be the oh so nice. Let me put a little powder puff on it. You want, you, want, you want a siren cow in the Yes, room? we love that. Do you know that you love it? I'm not being crazy here. You know that you love a little crazy too. And when you're watching those television shows, you want a little bit of the craziness. So I definitely think Christina, because they did leave the door open, should be come should come back. I don't think CeeLo Green should come back though. I love him. I love him as a producer. I love him as an artist. But I really like Usher on the show. I like CeeLo. Okay. So we're tied. I Any comments? CeeLo, Let us know. I think CeeLo has swag. I liked his style from what I sort of did. did you like him see. better than Usher? Yes. Usher oh. is charming. He's smooth. He's the man. But ceo has got that swag. You know what I'm saying? He's got. He's been in the game significantly longer. I. I you know what I'm saying? Like his his voice, in my opinion, holds more weight than Usher's. A little okay. bit. Okay. Usher's a good guy, but I want that swag. Please. All right. So you let us know who you like, yes, Usher below. or CeeLo. Please let us know. Comment below. Facebook. YouTube. Let us know. Okay. So let's continue the conversation. No, no, it's not up or anything yet, but I just, I have to bring it in just a little bit. X Factor. Okay. They've gotten rid of Britney Spears and L.A. Reid, which L.A. decided to go follow his music business side of things. Britney Spears is actually going and she's taking a gig up in, in Las Vegas. Oh, I did hear about that. Um, Isn't it more higher paid than, than um, Barbara Streisand? Celine Dion. Celine Dion, my bad. Yes, I can't wait to find yeah. out. I'm not really sure. And I have to, I'm going to consult and I'm going to do a little homework and I'm going to find out because she's not taking up, she is taking a presidency, but I've heard from what I've heard, it's not, you know, these performers, they get Celine Dion had her stadium built. She performed every single night, except I think for like major holidays and things like that, sometimes even two performances. Um, but what I have heard, she's gonna be signing the deal with Planet Hollywood and she's gonna be doing 41 days of consecutive, I guess, shows there, maybe that may be spread out over, let's say three or four or five or six months, okay. um, or maybe even a year and doing appearances and stuff, but I I haven't heard it in that sense, and we'll definitely look up okay. and see and bring to you next show what she's being paid for it. Um, but X Factor, now I have another recommendation. Okay. Who do you see as being a good guy on X Factor? Coolio? No, my man, Sean Combs! I as, think, in, as in P. Diddy? Yes, I think he would lay it down. P. Diddy doesn't hold anything back in his little scoop. But he's, he's, he kind of did that, that role in, um, Making the band, you know, and Making it was, the band, Shange uh, band. Uh, no, this even Dave Chappelle made fun of him on, on about. Yes, about but that. this is the X factor, and being that he's from the music side and the business side, I see him giving it. All I was gonna it's say gonna is, I can't stop, I won't stop. That's all he's gonna do. <laughs> No, I, yeah, no. I can see him from the business aspect. I, I will I don't back you on Queen Latifah, but I, I will back you on. I don't want to see him walking in with, um, with, with. His, his label jeans or his shirt, but I do want to see him arriving in that tux, I was going to say tuxedo, in that suit and tie, the matching tie with the matching uh, little push oh, napkin. That's right. and, and I want to see him arrive as Sean Combs, not Puffy, not Diddy, not that's anybody else. That's who he's going to come in as. He's going to come in as Diddy, you know? He's going to well, be, you know, he, or Puffy or whatever he goes. Simon, please so. listen. I know. 
<laughs> no, I mean, I'll, like I said, I'll back you on the Queen Latifah thing, but uh, did he? Maybe as a guest. All right, you guys, topic of the day, and it's it's actually still going to be on a lowdown live topic, and I really wish that Mr. Knowles, Beyonce's father, would have kept his mouth shut. He's recently released a statement um, talking about, which this is the first time we've actually heard Mr. Knowles open up his mouth, talking about his split from Beyonce and how if she feels that she's better in the hands of Jay-Z. And, you know, it's funny because even though I've considered as a husband and wife, you take some sort of, and, and being that they're in the same career, the same information process that you try to grow, um, I didn't necessarily see her going to Jay-Z for, for her sort of criteria aspect, maybe from the business aspect, mm -hmm. but not from her creative aspect. And he really blatantly, Mr. Noel says, mm -hmm. I hope she's better in the hands of Jay-Z. Or, you know, I hope she finds that she's better in the hands of Jay. Um, I, I respect, I respect Jay-Z's creative decision to do his little collision course thing with, um, with Lincoln Park though, that was pretty good. He didn't do like something with somebody else. Do I think she's grown? Do I think he's coming at it from a more money perspective? Yes, the last tour he turned mm -hmm. he turned down because he wanted a minimum of three hundred million dollars mm -hmm. um, for the mm -hmm. whole tour to be supplied and the whole nine. Right. Then he turned it down. Yes, but we've also seen and, and don't get me wrong, Beyonce in Destiny's Child. I love Destiny's Child, and I wish they would do a return. Please, Beyonce, be listening. Um, but the fact is. She grew off of Destiny's Child. She Kelly Rowland has had a great successful career as well. But if you look and you compare Kelly versus Beyonce, Beyonce has gone international. Um, but she's also done something since being a mother. Mm -hmm. um, she recently came out with that song, Bitches Bow Down. And she really talks about women empowerment and everything. So do I think that that was a wrong track? No, but come out as like a little feature on your man's album and lay it down. Don't actually come up with a whole song where you're telling the females that have grown up on you to bow down because they need to recognize who you are. Mm. Um, and also recently I just heard she's on the world tour. I want to go contemplating because I need to check out her ticket sale prices because Jay-Z and Justin Timberlake are on world tour together and they're charging $250 minimum per ticket. 250 and Kid Rock had something to say about that because he said, you know, I, he did your fans are what have made you. He slashed all of his ticket prices down to six million dollars, uh, six million, excuse me, twenty dollars. And I'm saying this because, and, and the six million popped in my head because he's worth thirty six million dollars. And you know, someone said, and, and I'm not really sure from whose camp, but the comment said, well, he needs to slash his prices because he needs to make money. Well, when you're worth thirty six million dollars, not in celebrity land, that is that a lot? But in some retrospect, something has gotten him there. Yeah, exactly. And, um, His merits. So, but I, I definitely want to see Beyonce's concert, but she has banned photographers. So, yes, because it, I don't know, but right now we're going to post the picture of her at the Super Bowl that is definitely not a, like a nice photo of her. And she wants all photos to be pre approved by her management. Well, that sounds familiar. To anything going out yeah uh -huh. <laughs> anything going uh -huh. out to magazines and media outlets and we're <laughs> laughing because it's all on perception mm -hmm. and jason likes to post listen certain photos I post. before pre-approving them hold on we have an affiliate uh natalie jean who does our photography for with simply perfect photography we love you natalie and she does the most phenomenal picture work and i am going to pretense that some photos i put up there are not flattering about me at all but i say just because you uh, you don't like them as a person it doesn't mean somebody else doesn't like them and that's why I say freely post them. I know, but this isn't candid camera. And she said I to me, want to prove. I'm anal. You, uh, if you guys know true. me, I like things. My T's crossed, my eyes dotted, and I like just I don't right, I don't but, mean right, to say don't post say, it. I just right. want to you see, see it, it and first. keep it before it goes out to the public. You tell use it to be the last time, Jason. You put the worst photos up. I do. I used to do screenshots of of these on the lowdown live. I stopped. I got scolded. She's like, did you just put up a photo? Why? And I said, okay. No more screenshots of the lowdown live. But just because what if, well, look at this way, but if you like the photo, what if they don't like the photo? That's the point. It's not about if you like it, it's all about our fans. Okay, wait, 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 like. wait. Let, let's just let's wait. rewind because I'm not talking and, and my fans know because if you follow my Facebook, wait, if you like my Facebook, follow me on Twitter and subscribe on YouTube, then you know okay how i am in my sort of criteria of the way that i act and the way that i express things and it's not just him posting bad pictures i'm sorry let me reenact <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> 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 
true. I'll be that doing is something, <laughs> that is pointing true. to something, that and who wants true. the showing? That is not wants true. their mouth that is wide not true. open? Listen, oh my God. Oh my God. No, I don't I want you fans. Who would want this As photo? a personal favorite to me, Vibe, your boy Vibe, go on the Mississippi Miami uh, fan page, find every photo she's in and click like. No. Click like on every this single one of them. I want you guys to know. not going to be posting the photos just to show you photos I want I'm you guys about. to like every photo I've ever, I've ever uploaded up there and like them. Show her love. Tell her she's beautiful with her mouth open or closed. Yeah. I've spoken. You guys know what I'm talking about. Nobody likes those incriminating photos. She's only incriminating. Photos. It is on, on location. She's not drinking. She's got a, her mic in hand. She's looking like she's ready to get into the game. Pick one where I'm standing smiling. No, right. Well, we don't want like a fly could fly in and I could swallow. We don't want those pose shots. That's, that's why no, you can see the behind the you scenes. You want those. I want you in the middle of action. I want you to sing, I'm Mr. Somebody Maya. And that's what I want. That shot. You guys. No, listen, listen, let me just right now. She made the, the photo of, uh, most recent photo at the uh, Red Carpet Show as the new profile photo for the Miss Somebody Miami yes, fan I page. I love it. I hate that photo. You want to know why? I look like this. <laughs> okay, I look pregnant. Okay, and I got this weird smile on my face while I'm, while I'm weird grin. But you know, did I say anything? No. He didn't say anything, I, but if he would have, no, 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 no. I clicked like. Because she liked it. Even though I hated that so photo. So since he liked it, that would have gave me the perception that it was... Thumbs up? But my point is that she liked it. I didn't. I still posted it. She made it a profile picture. If just because you don't like the photo doesn't mean somebody else doesn't like the photo and appreciate the photo and appreciate your mouth open like that. See, I'm not the only one. Beyonce pre approved your photos. Um, we completely randomly went off the main topic. That of was the funny. Show. That was fun. But like her photos. No, serious. This is your boy vibe. But uh, but I love you guys. We're wrapping up. Thirty minutes goes like that. I hate 30 minutes. We're, we're I gonna, don't feel like we get enough time to talk. We're going to extend to 45 minutes maybe. Even though only 30 minutes can go on Blog Talk Radio. But we might do an extended one might as well because uh, it always cuts us off in the middle of the meat. I know. The, meat. In the juicy stuff. Yes. But um, So you know what? <laughs> we'll be back to you guys. I'll definitely do my research. Find out exactly how much Miss Britney Spears is getting paid. And uh, we'll follow up with you guys next time. Yes. Thanks so much for tuning Thanks in. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, share, tweet. Thanks for watching the Lord Online watching.